Volume 6, Chapter 1 Unusable Trash That's how it is. It is true that Master was taking care of a dog named Noel and then saved Noel Beltra. Don't worry, he doesn't have the courage to cheat on you. We were at my house. Luxion had come to help me, who was being interrogated by Angie and Livia who had no light in their eyes. They interrogated me for an hour. This is all Luxion's fault. Angie put her hand on her waist and sighed. We rushed into a conclusion. Leon, please forgive us. We were wrong. Livia hugged me. I'm sorry, Leon. You weren't fooling us. I feel terrible for doubting you, I decided to accept their apologies with a big heart. It's okay. I was also to blame for incurring suspicion. But you too, I will never forgive you Luxion and Claire were in my line of sight. They were both avoiding me. Luxion was carefree. That's quite short-minded of you, master. To not forgive your followers. Claire looked somewhat happy. It's true. It's your fault for acting so suspicious. If we didn't follow up with this, the misunderstanding could not be resolved. Even so, it is resentful of you to never forgive us. Is that all these fucking traitors have to say? Don't play with me. If you hadn't betrayed me from the start, Angie and Livia wouldn't have doubted me in the first place. Looking at you from the side, I think it is inevitable for your actions to be suspicious, master. Angie was convinced of Luxion's opinion. Yes. If you hear something about stealing a bride from a wedding, you can't help but hesitate. No. That was not stealing. I just stopped an unhappy wedding. Hearing my excuse, Angie tried to say something, but she didn't have her usual urge to respond since she had some fault for having suspected me. I sympathize with Noelle's case, so I don't blame you for saving her. But what are you going to do? Leon, are you thinking about the future? When we were talking about Noelle's treatment, I put my finger on my cheek. I didn't think about it too much and it's not something I need to decide. It is Noelle who must decide. It seems that Angie was not satisfied with my response. If the story of the Holy Tree Priestess is true, we should bring her home. The Sacred Tree, this is an existence that supplies energy to people. Is it good to say that it is clean and free energy? A great plant that solves energy problems. And in my hand, there was a sapling that grew from that sacred tree. Fortunately, the sapling chose its priestess. If we return to our hometown and plant the sapling of the sacred tree, the kingdom of Halford will not suffer from power problems in the future. Considering Angie's position, it was inevitable to choose to bring Noel home. However, Livia is not convinced of it. W. Wait. What are we going to do with Noel's will? Noel has not yet given an answer, correct? There are doubts, right? She said that Noel's will should be respected. Angie's and Livia's opinions were in direct conflict. Angie tried to reason with Livia. I'm sorry for Noel, but the power problem will be solved in the future. This is no longer an individual problem. I know that it is unfortunate for Noel, but in the future, she will solve one of the kingdom's key problems. I am sorry, but I don't want to give Noel a choice. I could understand Angie's feeling of wanting to take her home. Not having any more energy problems is a pretty good thing. However, Livia was not convinced. Even when the benefits were presented to her, she was emotionally opposed. That's not good. Noel won't be happy. And does Noel even have a choice to stay here or come to the kingdom? Bringing her in by force is unforgivable. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Then we will treat Noel with the utmost consideration. If Noel wants, we'll let her have a luxurious life. Is not that. It's not like that. What's the matter with you, Angie? You don't act like you usually do. The Angie I know would never choose to use Noel as a sacrifice. They both began to gradually get upset. Angie got emotional too. 
If a sacrifice saves many in the future, my choice will be for the majority. I never said that we wouldn't make Noel happy. Faced with the highest consideration Angie could give, Livia still wasn't convinced. Noel is not a tool. Surely Angie couldn't forgive herself seeing Noel as a tool. Angie was a bit shocked. It seems that she was aware of what she said herself. It is true that I saw her as a tool. If it wasn't Leon that brought this incredible story, then even I would have doubted, but now that I know, I am ready to take Noel back to the kingdom. Leon, help me too. When Angie asked for my consent, Livia grabbed my arm. She gave me a sad look. D don't look at me like that. Leon, please stop Angie. This is not good. Will this make you happy even if you treat Noel like a tool? H huh. As I wandered, Angie grabbed my other arm. Leon, you are an Earl of the Kingdom of Halfert. You have an obligation to protect these people. I know that you don't want to take responsibility, but I won't let you run away from this. Livia was looking from the individual's perspective. And Angie was looking at the whole. Livia wanted Noel's happiness and Angie wanted to sacrifice it so that many others would be happy. Wait, should I choose? Should I decide something this important? It was Luxion who came to my rescue when I was in trouble. If Master accepts Noel, the whole problem will be solved. This artificial intelligence loves to add fuel to the fire. I hate that part of you where you ignore feelings. Oh. I don't want to hear that from my master, who ignored Noel's feelings. If you accept Noel, she will be happy, master. Furthermore, the kingdom of Halford will also have the sacred tree, and they will be happy. Everything fits perfectly. Where? Where is my happiness in all that? If I accept it, everything will fit perfectly, that, eh, huh? Angie, what is it? Angie was downcast and thinking a lot. She slowly raised her face and looked into my eyes. What Luxion said isn't a bad suggestion. Leon, accept Noel. At what Angie said, Livia shook her head. Angie, why? Why do you say that even though you were against Leon cheating on us? Seeing Livia with a look that she couldn't believe, Angie looked away. Because it's worth it. Leon, you can dismiss me. So accept Noel. Seeing Angie muttering that to convince me, I decided to run away from that place. I, I don't want to. Leon? I absolutely don't want to. I don't want to break up with Angie. When I screamed and jumped out of the room, I heard Livia's voice. Leon. That's not good. Noel won't be happy. And does Noel even have a choice to stay here or come to the kingdom? Bringing her in by force is unforgivable. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Then we will treat Noel with the utmost consideration. If Noel wants, we'll let her have a luxurious life. Is not that. It's not like that. What's the matter with you, Angie? You don't act like you usually do. The Angie I know would never choose to use Noel as a sacrifice. They both began to gradually get upset. Angie got emotional too. If a sacrifice saves many in the future, my choice will be for the majority. I never said that we wouldn't make Noel happy. Faced with the highest consideration Angie could give, Livia still wasn't convinced. Noel is not a tool. Surely Angie couldn't forgive herself seeing Noel as a tool. Angie was a bit shocked. It seems that she was aware of what she said herself. It is true that I saw her as a tool. If it wasn't Leon that brought this incredible story, then even I would have doubted, but now that I know, I am ready to take Noel back to the kingdom. Leon, help me too. When Angie asked for my consent, Livia grabbed my arm. She gave me a sad look. D don't look at me like that. Leon, please stop Angie. This is not good. Will this make you happy even if you treat Noel like a tool? H huh. 
As I wandered, Angie grabbed my other arm. Leon, you are an Earl of the Kingdom of Halfert. You have an obligation to protect these people. I know that you don't want to take responsibility, but I won't let you run away from this. Livia was looking from the individual's perspective. And Angie was looking at the whole. Livia wanted Noel's happiness and Angie wanted to sacrifice it so that many others would be happy. Wait, should I choose? Should I decide something this important? It was Luxion who came to my rescue when I was in trouble. If Master accepts Noel, the whole problem will be solved. This artificial intelligence loves to add fuel to the fire. I hate that part of you where you ignore feelings. Oh. I don't want to hear that from my master, who ignored Noel's feelings. If you accept Noel, she will be happy, master. Furthermore, the kingdom of Halford will also have the sacred tree, and they will be happy. Everything fits perfectly. Where? Where is my happiness and all that? If I accept it, everything will fit perfectly, that, eh, huh? Angie, what is it? Angie was downcast and thinking a lot. She slowly raised her face and looked into my eyes. What Luxion said isn't a bad suggestion. Leon, accept Noel. At what Angie said, Livia shook her head. Angie, why? Why do you say that even though you were against Leon cheating on us? Seeing Livia with a look that she couldn't believe, Angie looked away. Because it's worth it. Leon, you can dismiss me. So accept Noel. Seeing Angie muttering that to convince me, I decided to run away from that place. I, I don't want to, Leon. I absolutely don't want to. I don't want to break up with Angie. When I screamed and jumped out of the room, I heard Livia's voice, Leon. Wasn't it terrible to leave them both in the room? I jumped out of the house and headed to Marie's mansion with Luxion. How annoying. And it won't change the fact that you've betrayed me. Ah, as I thought, artificial intelligence is a dangerous existence that will betray humanity. I will not betray humanity. However, new humanity is another matter. Isn't that the same as saying you'll betray us? Damn traitor. If you're worried about Noel, you should put her on your side. What does that have to do with your betrayal? I don't want to experience their suspicion again. Still, this guy's changing the topic this time is too suspicious. Did he really think of betraying me? Let's be serious, Luxion, why did you create that situation, to even include bothering Claire? You realized? You are quite insightful, master. You are a guy who likes to say annoying things like always. Listening this time, prioritize the main theme. Don't divert the topic. Unfortunately, Noel will not have a peaceful future. So we should choose a way beneficial to us while fulfilling your wishes. We should, huh? If you accept Noel, the kingdom will get the sacred tree. At the moment, it may not be so mighty like the Republic Holy Tree, but it will solve the power problem in the future. That's a huge benefit. About the future, humans will take care of that. Tell the truth. It is true. In other words, Noel has no freedom. If her value is known, not only will the kingdom move, but other countries as well master, you won't be able to protect Noel if she's not by your side. Luxion was listing the reasons, but each one sounded like a lie. Was that your true intention? You still doubt me? Then, I would like to say it clearly. If other countries pursue Noel, they will take all possible measures. That is the end you will regret, master. It would still be lucky if it's just an unwanted marriage. In the worst case, they will brainwash her and treat her as a tool. The sapling of the sacred tree and the priestess, Noel, other countries surely wish to have it in their hands. I understand it, but do you have to point it out? Is it not possible to protect Noel in the Republic? She is their priestess. Oh. Do you still believe in the Republic, even though you've been pestering them? 
Since I came to the Republic, I have been pestering the six great nobles. Pierre, who has used the power of the six main nobles, and used it for himself. Loek, who forced Noel to marry him in order to obtain her. They were certainly annoying people. They've all screwed with me in so many ways, but how would they move if I wasn't there? She was selected as a priestess, but it's terrible that she can't be happy. I thought the game had a happy ending. I complained. In this Otome game, Noel, who was selected as a priestess, should have been happy. To be united with a boy who likes and to revive his house that was in ruins. And yet, what about Noel now? She doesn't belong to anyone and she's not happy either. Luxion, what went wrong? Is Noel not as happy as the story says? It was us. No, it's my fault? Was it possible that she can't be happy because we came to the Alzer Republic? I had that worry. As always you are too self-aware. Aren't you saying you have a lot of influence on the world, master? Do you think the world revolves around you? Do you hate me? Do you throw discordant words at the heart and think nothing of doing it? I am your master, right? It's okay because your heart is as hard as steel it's a crystal heart. It is delicate. Be more careful. You should look up the word delicate in a dictionary. Apparently you remember the word delicate in a different sense, master. What a maddening guy. You talk badly to me and you betray me. The artificial intelligence of the world of this Otome game is too cruel. When I arrived at Marie's mansion while talking to Luxion, the entrance was noisy. What happened? I looked inside and saw Marie holding her head. I could also see Jilk in trouble. When Luxion confirmed the conversation, a surprising fact was revealed. Oh, it looks like Jilk started scamming people. Judging from the content of the conversation, it was an event from when they were fired by Marie. Hey! I was surprised to hear that Jilk was a scammer and was making money. Then Marie, who was holding her head at the front door, ran towards us. Oni Chan. While trying to catch Marie, who was crying and jumped on me, I felt a strong shock in my abdomen from the impact. Ugh. Receiving a tackle from Marie, she collided with my stomach and brought me down to my knees. Marie, hugging me like that and crying, explained the situation to me. H. Hey, you should first apologize to me for just now. Jilk. Jilk. What happened to the conspiratorial bastard? When I managed to get up, Jilk came over. Marie, please listen. At that moment, Marie's face turned into a demon. You want me to listen to you? Do you know what you did? Who said you can make money deceiving others? While I was rubbing my stomach, I heard that Jilk ripped off several people while making money as an antique dealer. No, I didn't do it. At first I tried to do my business seriously, but nobody tried to buy items I tried to sell. But then I started preparing items to look more appealing, but T then the item was sold instantly. Damn you bastard. This is called cheating. Marie grabbed Jilk's chest and swayed him violently from side to side. I want to think that I am wrong to see that the trembling Jilk looked a bit happy. However, the current problem is about the fraud that he did. I thought this guy was rubbish I couldn't laugh at, but was he really rubbish? Luxion also seems to have the lowest evaluation on Jilk among the fools. In the past, in a duel with you, he put a bomb on the armor. This guy has the biggest trash grade compared to the others. The five idiots are always sh asterisk t, but the other four are better sh asterisk ts than you. I want to laugh. However, Jilk alone couldn't make me laugh. Marie exhaled and released Jilk. Marie fell to her knees, crying with her hands on the ground. Then she screamed. H how many people do I have to apologize to by kneeling? Marie's tearful screams echoed around her. When I saw Marie crying, I, as expected, felt a little sympathy. Why does she only attract useless guys? 
When I asked Luxion the response I got was spicy. Instead of attracting useless guys, do you make men useless instead? Well, the five idiots they were originally useless, so I guess both are true. You have no mercy. Is that so? Then, due to the commotion, the residents of the mansion appeared. It was Julian who jumped, but he was wearing a twisted headband with an apron. Marie, what happened? He could have jumped coming this way after hearing Marie's crying cry, but it's uncomfortable for the former heir, the prince, to wear a twisted headband and apron. When Julian hugged Marie, Marie was crying and laughing at the same time. So, Brad came out after. He came over to us while hugging his dove friend and his rabbit friend. What happens? Hey! Why is Bart Ford here? Oh, I see. He must have felt lonely without me. Of course not. I immediately cut off the narcissist's comments, and the next one to come out was Chris with a loincloth and holding a deck brush. I heard Marie cry, but what happened? Hmm? Bart Ford, why are you here? Explaining it was troublesome. Also, these guys have gotten more intense recently. They seem to be having fun, but I doubt if they are actually okay. Then Greg, who took off his jacket, came hopping up. Listen to Marie's voice. Balk fault, why are you here? It seems that everyone is interested in why I came. However, that is not important now, so I briefly explained the current situation. It appears that Jilk has committed fraud. Marie was put in that state when she found out. The four of them saw Marie laughing as she cried, and then their eyes drifted to Jilk. Julian's eyes on Jilk were scornful. A man like you who said all the time that he wanted to compete with me works like a swindler? The other three were the same. Brad was hugging the dove and rabbit with cold eyes on Jilk. It is impossible. A little, no, normally that's wrong. Chris's glasses were glowing suspiciously. This man, I've thought about it before, but there are places where you can choose any method. Greg was exercising, his muscles were swollen. He is fragile, and by not training his muscles, his personality is distorted. I don't think that really has anything to do with it. Julian entrusted Marie to me. Bald fault, I entrust Marie to you. Hey. What will you do? Jilk is my stepbrother. We grew up taking care of each other like siblings. That's why I'll fix him. Jilk's attitude. Marie regained her sanity when she saw Jilk being carried away by the four. Ha! Jilk. He was taken by Julian and the others. They will surely give him a sermon? Marie dropped her shoulders enormously. She held her face with both hands. Why did you scam? It would have been better if you came back without making money like before. You're going through a hard time too. Marie dreamed of a reverse harem and cajoling five nobles, why would it be? She didn't look happy. The destination I visited was a merchant's bakery who bought Jilk's works of art. He was a great merchant with a great mansion. Jilk, who scammed that person, must be a man born with an unpleasant talent. The tense Marie was trembling. TT today is a good day. I came to see how she was apologizing, but Marie was nervous and useless. Since it can't be helped. It really can't be helped, I accompanied her. Instead of Marie, I spoke to the business owner. I'm very sorry for the sudden visit. I thought you might come one day. Did you realize that the product you bought was fake? However, the slim and tall owner seemed to be nervous somewhere in front of us. Um, actually, I know. Eh? When the owner instructed the person who appears to be a butler, he brought out the product that Jilk had sold, perhaps because he had prepared it in advance. However, they are very polite. I purposely put on gloves and gently placed the teacup on the table. It seemed like a very expensive product, if you didn't know that it was actually fake. In this case, I too could have been fooled. However, the story went in an unexpected direction. 
This is the product you bought from Jilk? Yes. The owner's eyes looking at the teacup looked very sad. The butlers and servants around me look at us with some tension. Something is wrong. Despite being duped, he doesn't seem to be angry. No, maybe you didn't realize that you were tricked? When I noticed such a thing, it seems that Marie also guessed it from the surrounding atmosphere. She was a little worried. But probably not by not being as trash as Jilk, Marie had opened her mouth to say it was false. E excuse me. I know. You, you came to retrieve this article? It's just for this. I did not think that you could get it for such a price. Why yes. Huh. The owner's reaction was strange. I decided to investigate. No, I'm not thinking of trying to get it back. Actually, I heard that an acquaintance is an antiquarian, I couldn't believe it and I came to see it. Oh! So it was like this? The owner was visibly released from the tension. I'm not familiar with art, but is that cup of tea an expensive item? When I looked at the cup of tea, the owner opened his eyes and explained to me. Of course. This is a product whose manufacturing tradition has fallen apart a few years ago. Five hundred years. I had some, but none remained in perfect condition. It's a masterpiece of the time and there are only so many items in perfect condition. I asked them to people who are familiar with this, but it was difficult for anyone to want to sell it to me. I saw the owner, who was very happy and proud of his collection, and I nodded with a smile. Marie looked at me with an anxious look. So I confirmed it with Luxion in a low voice. Is it real? Yes. Luxion's short reply confused me by not knowing what was happening. I didn't show it to my face. Ah ha ha ha, I was surprised that he was a good antique dealer. By the way, do you know other people with what business Jilk? Is this a coincidence? As we listen to the next customer, we also talk about Jilk. Jilk is a great connoisseur even though he's young. No, I can't say he's a connoisseur. Is it better to say that he has the talent to find the authentic? He is a genius. Are you praising Jilk, who has no good eye? Did he really have a talent? The owner appreciated the cup of tea. Then he showed a smile in front of me. Yet when I heard the Earl of Halford coming, I wondered what would happen. Me? Yes. There are so many rumors out there, some of them were scandalous. I'm really anxious inside thinking that you would take back the product I bought. No, it was actually conveyed that he was impatient. More importantly, what are those rumors about me? I am intrigued by my rumors. It may not mean anything from me, but the Earl is a gentleman. Me, a gentleman? Although I am trying to be like the master, I am aware that I am immature. Do I look like a gentleman? Well, what flattery. However, I was glad and I was happy. You're good at flattering. That's not true. The owner's face turned serious. I envy the kingdom. He said nothing more, but I got the impression that he seems to have problems with the nobles of the Republic. After that, follow-up investigations were carried out, but there was no need for an apology. They all said the following. Jilk is a genius. No, he is loved by the god of art. What a great skill, to save a real treasure from a pile of garbage, he is the savior of the art. I would have supported Jilk generously if he had been born in the Republic. I envy the kingdom. Do you understand? Jilk was the only person who believed that he had acted as a con man. We, who returned to the mansion, held our heads. What the hell is going on? I didn't think everyone was going to praise us for Jilk's aesthetic sense. As a result, I didn't have to deal with the fraud, and Marie was able to feel relieved. Does that guy really have a good eye? Worried about the mansion, Jilk came in with a beaten face. Despite his painful appearance, he smiled proudly. Oh, isn't that the Earl, who doesn't have a good eye for things, Bartford? 
you're a nasty guy. Is it true? Still, it's troublesome how everyone jumps to quick conclusions. I found the items they wanted and I sold them at a reasonable price. It would be embarrassing if they call this a sin. He said that, but what he sold? I can't consider it art. However, all the customers who bought the product were satisfied. I also confirmed it with Luxion, but it was all real. I can't say it's a coincidence. Jilk looked at me. Fre new M. Oh. Won't you apologize? It's Julian and others who beat you. Also, I forgive you for using the bomb in the duel, you should be grateful. Well, let's leave it at that. I shook my head to the side and showed a state of disappointment. It's a damn bastard that irritates me. However, it seems that Marie has noticed something here. Wait a minute, in other words, if Jilk prepares what others want, can he gather money? Seeing Marie's eyes twinkling, Jilk had a complicated look. No. Marie? I usually see real things. However, this time, I only prepared articles suitable for blind people. That's fine. Jilk, why didn't you do that until now? W. Well. It's not a scam if you sell something real. In other words, relying on Jilk's aesthetic sense, we will be fine in the future. Certainly, if you are successful, you can earn a lot of money. In fact, Jilk is making a lot of money in a short period of time. Jilk looked complicated, but couldn't seem to refuse when Marie told him her request. He accepted Marie's suggestion. I understand you. If so, I will choose the appropriate product for Marie. I'm looking forward to it, Jilk. Leave it to me. I'll show you how different I am from the other four. It rose slightly more than the other four. After all, this guy has a bad personality.